Hello, everybody, and welcome to Late Night Football. Welcome to our match preview episode. We've actually got two today for you. Uh, we're going to start off first with um, Arsenal against Manchester United, the big game for the top four race. Uh, and of course, joining me, I've got uh, Kaneya here on the show. Kaneya, welcome. Thank you. Well, I think we've been we've been we've been doing a lot of one on one, but this is, this has been nice to kind of go back and doing something together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, one on we'll be doing the sing the individual ones. I would say one on one. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway, let's get right into it. I mean, you know, we did the Ten Hag's been appointed uh, for Manchester United, so there's a little bit of a I wouldn't say an uplifting atmosphere, but at least there's a bit of change in the air. Um, you know, but this is the big game. Uh, I think this is the one that, I mean, I don't think United will get top four anyway, but if they are going to have any ambition, then this is the one that they do need to win. In some ways, it's almost um, old versus young because you've got, you know, this vibrant young Arsenal team on the one hand, and then you've got this creaking old Manchester United team. It is old because there are quite a few players that are on the wrong side. You know, they're in their late 20s, 30s. When you look at the team overall. I think it's uh, it is a little bit of on the on the older side. So it's a bit of a nice contrast, extra position. Um, in some ways, and I uh, mean, the contrasting fortunes because everybody would have thought that uh, Arsenal would be where United are, United would be where Arsenal are. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's kind of the thing, right? Uh, it, it's been such it's been such a season. Like, so to be very frank, there have been no expectations from United, uh, mm-hmm. but there have been some expectations from Arsenal after the the, the run they went into in a way. Uh, and it's been kind of uh, up and down for them this season mm-hmm. as well, with also kind of. Having you know, like it, it kind of having. I think that they're they're directly competing with Spurs, but then you know United is just there to spoil the party if they can, and I, I don't think United should leave that opportunity. Of course, we had another opportunity against Liverpool, but then you know, I don't know what we were playing for there. But that, that was a free hit. Play. That was a free hit. Yeah, exactly. Jesse, like, that was a free hit. Yeah. So, so I I feel that 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 this kind of is, uh, yeah, it's 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 something to play for. Like I. I think United just playing for the for for the for, for the rights just to like not be booed by their fans now. It's that's what they're playing for because nobody has expectations for them to win or kind of finish top four. But then if they do, that'll be like an achievement. It's like it's like how Ole, uh, uh, you know, Solskjaer kind of uh, got United to top four, right? And everybody's like, oh, he he has done it when he kind of came as an interim manager and then he was he became the permanent manager. So I think that that's exactly where we are right now. It's it's basically like deja vu, but the whole good thing here is like we've already decided who our next manager is, and it's not the interim manager who we have Ralph Ragnick. And but yeah, I think it's for it's more for Arsenal to kind of play uh, because they, they've they've been out of form for the last couple of games. I think it's more for Arsenal to kind of grab that four position by the by the horn, yeah, or at least make it hard for Spurs in a way uh, uh, to kind of. Play for it, or at least win it. So it's it's basically well. That, it's, I it's, would, yeah, I think that's being that facetious be. because they've beaten Chelsea. Uh, they've just come off of beating Chelsea. They've got a big result, three points there that nobody expected them to get. So they've got it, um, and that kind of puts them in a good position going to the North London derby next week because that's the big game. This one isn't. Um, that that's yeah. the big ticket one that they will need to win. So um, yeah, I, I think they'll be full of confidence, especially coming up as United side that's totally low on confidence. They got hammered four four nil. So you know. Um, I mean, it's as good a time as any to play Manchester United. I think right now. Absolutely, like that's that's. I think that's kind of the thing, right? Like that, that's been the whole season. Like anybody can beat Manchester United right now on a on a good day. Like and and United has done bad, proven that that it is possible. It's not that you know we're just kind of making claims here that United is that bad. I'm I'm very sure a lot of fans from the other clubs are just basically oh shut up. You just you don't you know you know United fans have just lost their mind and they're not they're not. They don't see the real picture. You've such brilliant. Players. I'm not denying we have we don't have brilliant players. I'm saying we have brilliant players, but then they're not been performing, and you know that's the reality. United can be beaten by anybody in the Premier League right now on on their day, and I think Arsenal coming back from a, such a strong win against Chelsea, a kind of thumping in a way, mm-hmm. uh, and you know, and United kind of just reeling out of a four nil defeat to, from Liverpool, and then you know, not kind of performing to what. So I, I won't be surprised if Arsenal just kind of steamrolls it. But I but the thing is with United, you don't you don't know what version of United you get, as well, right? You know, it's good to know that Ronaldo is back. I think we have Varane back coming in, and there's some news coming in that Varane will be also playing. Varane is so that that kind of makes. But then does that does the big the big million dollar question is Harry Maguire going to start? 
So that's kind of um, a, yeah, the unfortunate well. incident that happened with him uh, and his family, the bomb threat, sadly. Um, not 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 a good thing that that happened. I don't condone that as much as I don't like Maguire the player. I don't think that that should happen to anybody. Um, so there is a possibility that he might not play because of those unfortunate circumstances, um, which is not nice, but yeah, so there's possible that he may not play. Um, but still, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I think so, yeah, I completely agree with you know the, the circumstances with Maguire, the way the you know threatening and stuff that that. They, they, these are definitely events which you don't want in anybody's life, like anybody to kind of feel because it's family. You know, it's, it's a profession that playing football or the professional footballers eventually. You know, uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's really unfortunate that, you know, Maguire, Harry Maguire and his family have to go through this. Um, but then, yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it's also been like a very unfortunate uh, a fortnight for Cristiano Ronaldo as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. With, 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 yeah, with with his family as well, uh, and then you know these these at least this these events kind of tell them they're they're, they're they're human beings as well, um, and you know it's it's and it's it's a, just a game. You know we're just passionate. We're so passionate about it, but it's just a game. But then I think this allows then Manchester United to kind of come back a little stronger. So I feel that could be the motivation to win for Cristiano Ronaldo and Maguire to kind of in a way. Uh, who've had such tough times with their families, uh, uh, you know, just just that 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 could be a boost, I would say. That that is something that Manchester United could kind of want to play for in a way. Yeah, talking about Arsenal as well. I mean, they've got a few injury concerns of their own. Thomas Partey won't be available. Tomiyasu won't be available. So I mean, they'll have to do a bit of recheck for that midfield. I mean, the, the thing is, the midfield is open because um, I don't think Sambi Lokonga is that good. I don't think Nenny is always that good. So that they're going to rely on Jaka and um, Odegaard to kind of. Um, control that midfield. So there is an opportunity for United if they can, you know, get that midfield combination right. I don't know who the third midfielder is going to be because, um, you know, uh, Scott McDominay will be back, but um, yeah. they don't have Fred, they don't have Pogba, um, they don't have, um, uh, well, I mean, they might, they might may not have Matic. I mean, don't know if he's going to be able to yeah. play. So, yeah, it'll be interesting if, if Hannibal gets an opportunity or if they go with Matic. So, um, Arsenal, who do you see? Um, do, you, do you see any major change, many major surprises for Arsenal, uh, personnel wise? I, I don't think so. I, I, I don't. I don't think so. I think they play the same squad in a way, uh, well, and the best fit available because this is you know it doesn't make sense to rest somebody for the next North London derby. They're not playing for anything else. So there's enough time for recovery as well. Um, and I would say these, each game is like a final for them right now because you know if they keep winning, they will make top four. If they if they lose or if and then Spurs is kind of like both have kind of off, have been off form. Arsenal and Spurs have been off form for the last couple of games. I think it's, but then Arsenal, I don't see any changes there. I it just, it just what I would like to see is who marks Odegaard closely because you can't give him space because that's what Chelsea kind of did. They gave him some a yard or two, and that's it. That's what he wanted, and you know the 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 goals that he created by the like, of course, you know. Um, the the single touch goals also scored by uh, uh, by the young lads in Arsenal. I think Saka is on, on clearly amazing form, and you know, and the others. I'm forgetting the name of the striker who scored the other goal. And Ketia, and Ketia, and, and Ketia scored two, and you know, uh, yeah. Uh, Emil so Smith like, Emil Smith Rowe scored the other. Exactly, yeah. and that's what I'm talking about. The, the touch that he kind of gave him, and he scored from the first touch. That was a brilliant goal, I would say. So that's kind of two yards given to Odegaard. That's what he does. I think that, and but I think these young boys know that Odegaard can kind of uh, uh, can can provide, can deliver the passes. Yeah. They just need to be sharp enough to kind of get them. I, I think so. I, I it's, it's I think it's going to be a clear, easy Arsenal win. Uh, What's the score prediction? I think it's two nil Arsenal. Mm, yeah, I, I yeah um, two nil, but it might be three nil as well. Um, I'm thinking three nil as well could be. I mean, you know, the way they were playing against Chelsea. Uh, yeah. If they play that way, then yeah, that should be an easy win for, for Arsenal. So yeah, I'm going. I mean, they were just very good. They were just very very good against Chelsea. That exactly. does not, will will they repeat that performance? That's the million dollar question. But if they play to that level, then yeah, it could be a, a route in some ways because yeah, but uh, could be three 0 could be two 0 could be three 0 But yeah, it will be an Arsenal win. And I think is what we're going with. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean you know we'll, we'll, we'll be here with the match reaction for that one. So you know, stay tuned. Let us know in the comment section. What do you think about uh, the Arsenal the game? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think United have a chance? Do you think Arsenal have any weaknesses that could be exploited? Let us know in the comments. We obviously love hearing from you. Uh, please do remember to subscribe to our channel on Facebook and on YouTube and even on Instagram. You can also follow us on Instagram. So do remember to, to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. We always appreciate your support. Uh, and uh, we'll, of course, we'll be bringing more content. We've got one more match preview coming for you later today. So please do stay on the lookout for that. In the meantime, though, have a good day or night, whatever time you're watching this. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.